I'm enjoying making these videos, guys. Um, and 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 the, and the husband team, like, I I feel alive. I I, I feel. I feel, I feel, I feel very happy, man. I've been thinking about this for some time. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting the content. I really appreciate. Uh, please let's try to normalize liking the video because the more you like these videos, then YouTube will distribute it to more people. Because when you are liking the video, you are telling YouTube that we like this type of content and they share it with more people. And with more people coming, I also get more motivation to shoot more videos and share more of, 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 of this content. Thank you very much, guys. You, you've you really been supporting. I've been getting WhatsApp messages. I've been getting comments on Facebook. I would really love to see those comments here on, on, on the channel because if you do comment, then YouTube gets to see that you guys really love this content and they, they, they actually reward that. And if they reward me, and then I, I can do more videos uh, because at least it will, it will be it will, it will be worth more of a while even though I love doing what I'm doing. So welcome guys to episode 4. Damn, we moved so fast. Uh, so we still busy with choreography and music and, and I feel that I think we're ready to start our class now where we are going to deal with the beginning of the class because it doesn't help me telling you all these things and then I don't guide you how you can start moving because we need to start teaching that first class and and for that to happen it, it has to get to a point where I move you towards that direction because that's the most important thing. So today we are going to deal with the first two tracks of our class in the warm-up. Remember, we haven't done technique yet. I can't do technique here. I need to be outside and, and where you can see the whole body, everything that I'm demonstrating when we do technique. Right, so let's go. The first track, and actually doing the first two tracks of, of our class, and, 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 and I will take you a, a step by step how you prepare for that first track. Right, the first thing that you do, I don't know how many people have done this, is to ha count how many blocks you've got in your in, in your mix. It's very important. Remember, you are going to navigate a mix. You have to know how many of what do you have, and for you to know that you have to literally count the blocks. I use a uh, Mixmeister Fusion. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a software uh, that you can buy. Uh, you can also get a credit. I always say it's always better to buy because you get support from the company. If you buy it, I'm sure you can get it now. You will get it maybe at about 6,000 rands. But it's, it's the license is a lifetime license. Once you've got it, you've got it. And you can, you can do a lot about it. Mixmeister is not paying me for this, uh, but I've been using their software since 2015 and later decided to buy it. Uh, I think it was around 2020 when I bought it. And, 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 and I've never looked back since. It's, uh, it's a very amazing piece of software. So I'm using it. The nice thing about it, if you place your track there, it shows you the blocks. You can actually literally see them, right? So on me, uh, uh, on, in front of me now, I've got Give Guess, Fitness Music Volume One. Let me take a screenshot so that I can I can uh, place this here, uh, and you can see what I'm talking about. So with Give Guess Fitness Music Volume One, I've, I, I I already know the first two tracks. The first track has got 18 blocks. The second track has got 13 blocks. Right? Remember what I told you about some tracks having a gap and 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 yeah. So the first track has got 18 blocks, the second track has got 13 blocks, right? Now, on the first track, uh, the first two blocks is an intro uh, coming in. You don't really count the first block because that's where you're finding your, your music, right? So when you walk in, you press play, and then you listen to your music, find your beat, and then you come in uh, because you still have to listen to find your beat. So you, you as, an, as, an, as an instructor, 
within the first two, few first 16 counts, uh, the more experience you get, the more you know when it starts. Right? And, 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 but the main thing is that after pressing play, listen, find your beat and start moving. And I always uh, encourage moving your feet, knowing where your feet are on the beat because what happens here is easy. The main thing is your feet must know where what foot you go in. Like when I'm starting, I listen, then I go one, two, three, four, five, then step with six, seven, go on the opposite, seven, eight, one. All right, again, one, two, three, four, five, six with the left foot, seven with the hand, eight with the other foot, then I start. You get me? So I always, I always start my classes like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two. It's, yeah, well, if you are doing high low, you can start with a match. Bam, 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 bam. Or you can start with a step touch. Four, three, two, one, and start. Uh, it depends on, on what works for you. But that start has to be smooth. You have to know how you're going to start all the time. You, you, just, you just have to. Another thing that I did not mention on the last video is that those things you have to practice them practice them play the music practice how to go in practice how to go in on that beat practice over and over again until it becomes second nature you know spend a lot of time practicing how you go in on the movements because remember you're not going in when the beat starts you go in before the beat starts so in that thing you have to practice 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 until 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 it becomes second nature until you know where you, where you come in in your combo you shouldn't be looking at members before you go in you should know when to go in you should know because why you practiced you know when it's coming you don't have to look at the members you just jump in and do it it doesn't matter where it is on the beat, you should just be able to come in and, 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 and do it. And that comes with a lot and a lot of practice. A lot of practice until you get... Because remember, we're leading people, we want everything to flow. We want, so the more you practice that, the more mobility you get in your class. Because the class is all about them moving and moving and moving. can't believe I spent seven minutes explaining that. Okay, let's go. So, I've got this opened up here, uh, and, uh, right, so let me start, I don't know what happened here, but it's okay. So, first track I've counted, it's 18 blocks. Okay, cool, how am I going to start? I'm going to do a step tap for the first blocks why am i saying for the first two blocks the first block i'm finding my beat the second block they are doing it we are counting and then so that's the that's the first one and then following that i'm going to let's say go and after the step taps maybe i'm going to do some lateral i can call this lateral arm swings because they are going lateral and i'm swinging my arms so i can do that for a block or two blocks yeah maybe let's say let's say you do it for a block then after that you raise your elbows and remember now you are doing this on the on the coronal plane now you raise your elbows and you rotate then now you are working on the transverse plane right if you don't know the planes it's on anatomy where you divide the body from the front to the back from the left to the right from that front to the back that's the sagittal plane left to right that's the coronal plane and and up and down like up and down so all the movements that are here that's the that's the transverse plane so you start here working on the coronal plane then you come here you're working on the on the transverse plane maybe your next movement can be this uh, 
because the arm is coming from here, it's going up. Even though there is a transverse involved, but because the arm comes from here, it's going up, it's on the sagittal plane. I don't know if you get me. It's because remember, the plane doesn't say, I am going left or right. It says on the body. Like here, this is a coronal, coronal because the arm comes from here and it goes there. This is a transverse because you are rotating your body. That's the main thing that's working. And then this is a sagittal because you take the arm up to the to this position even though you are rotating right cool and and you're trying to play with the planes as you are warming people up you want to work on all three planes so you will start the first one first two said we're going to go corona then after that oh we said we're going to pop then the next block we go corona then the next block we go sagittal then you can play around, choose a couple of movements. You can repeat those ones if you want. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. The first eight blocks, you can do four movements. You repeat them. Start here. Then when you are done here, take them up, go here. Then from here, you go there. That's the third one. Maybe after that, maybe you can do bicep curls, which is also which is also city time so you've got your four moves one two three four blocks the uh, one two three four five six seven eight blocks first eight blocks you're doing those movements and then it gets into a break you'll be doing the bicep curls here so so let's let's just put that into play so we set our movements we first start here and then we raise the elbows we rotate and then we reach side arm reaches and then we do bicep curls so let's do it let's do it let's do it with music ah we've got earphones on we just take out my earphones okay let's let's start again so we're finding the beat Oh, we said we, we don't even start here, yeah. So you go, see. Then you count. Four, three, two, then up there. You start in your class here. You don't need a hand for anything. Now, we're going for the bicep curl after this. You're not in a hurry. Four, three, two, one. Bicep curl. Then we're going to start from the beginning. Four, three, two, and one. They join. One minute, uh, let me just confirm exactly how many. Four, three, two, one. Two minutes, two seconds of the class is done. Four movements. Do the first time, do the second time. Then from there, you can decide what else you add. 40 minutes already. Then from there, you can decide what else to add on the on the on the on, on these on this, uh, blocks but what you do is you can choose another four movements uh, 
let's say psh, after this maybe you choose to do blocks to blocks né? and then you choose you choose after these blocks maybe you are going to do blocks inside into uh, medial blocks and we call these medial blocks right then after that maybe you choose to turn and rotate now that's another movement right and then maybe you go back to the media medial blocks and rotate as well now nah, right so you've got your four movements let's see one two three four you get a break one two three four i like this so now here you know okay after the first break after doing bicep curls then you're starting with your blocks now you've got eight uh, blocks and a break so now you can do four on the break you can bob and weave and then do another four it kind of make it more interesting let's see so i said we've got blocks to the front and then we go for these that i'm calling medial blocks now maybe someone else has got a name and then from there you rotate and block on the side same blocks and then you rotate with your medial blocks so let's see how it's going to look like so we come in here now you do it by some caps or some side <laughs> going with the blocks four three two one two 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 Maybe I'm going to make time. Uh, go and record this track. And and if you want this track, it's available on Spotify. It's also available on, on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Uh, give guess fitness music volume two. That's the first track of the of the I thought we were going to do two songs. Now we're already on 19 minutes, guys. I guess we'll do the second track next time. Uh, but but that's basically now how you structure your how you structure your class count know how many blocks are there in your song listen to it if you've got mix master throw it on mix master just look count how many and then listen and and structure your things and and then after you you've structured your your class then then it's all systems go it's all systems go you go there you do this in front of people prepare it like this you do it in front of people 
give communication, communicate with the people. You already know what you are going to do. Communicate with the people, have fun, uh, be you, be yourself. You know, but we'll get there when we start talking about connection and everything else. And, and, and trust me, People won't see what happened. They won't see why are you so like, why are your methods? Because remember, the main thing is you don't want to have super glasses and glasses. Even if you've got two people, they should feel as if they were 20. They should feel as if they were 40, you know? Why? Because you go there, you give your all, you do the best that you can with each and every class that you, you are given. You know? and, and nothing beats that in, in this industry. I'm sorry guys, this video is getting too long. We are now on 21 minutes. We will continue uh, uh, on, an, on the next video. Uh, I think uh, it's, we are really getting to Uvukonda. Thank you very much guys, please remember to like the video, please subscribe to the channel, share the content, like, 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 very important. Your comments, I would really appreciate if you can just throw them on the video. I would really appreciate that guys. Thank you very much. Again guys, let's build this community, let's save our box, our beloved box, the special one. Let's put in some work before we go to class and go and present. Let's stop practicing combos. Let's practice choreography, the entire class choreography. Let's listen to the music. Let's learn how to communicate with people. Let's work on our technique. Let's go out there and present a class, not a combo. Not a combo. Guys, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not doing any I'm not throwing any blows to anybody. I'm also going to make time and, and, and share some other stuff that I think about a lot that is happening and, and come up with an opinion that is not controversial. This is 2023, I've changed guys. I'm not controversial. I'm trying to fix our aerobics. I'm trying to help people. I want them, whatever they do, I want them to know so that they become better at whatever it is that they are doing. On that note, guys, thank you very much. I'm talking too much. 22, 23 minutes. Ah, this video is too long. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.